Always enjoy visiting with Little Texas. I mentioned earlier, legendary artist and brand new artist. Well, right now we're going to the brand new artist category. And I'm excited about this artist. Uh, this is uh, the first experience I've had to, to know Brian Lewis. He's very sincere. Uh, I can just imagine in his bio, it says he used to walk around listening to a little transistor radio. He loves country music. He loves music. Fact is, <laughs> he used to be a bull rider. Now, when you meet him, he was a bull. Yes, he was. So he went from bull riding to riding music. And he's a very exciting new act in our country music field. And we're very proud to introduce to you Brian Lewis. Grandpa's tractor sitting rusting in the lean to by the bar. It won't sit there much longer cause he had to sell the car. There'll be condos in the hayfields by first cutting time next year. And by the time that harvest rolls around, you never know a farm was here. Diesel's high and crops are down, we just can't keep things in the black. And it can't go on much longer, time to take this country back. It's hard on all us country folks with our roots still running deep. See the black tops pulling closer every night while we're asleep. We gotta stick together, we gotta put her back on track Let me tell you all, it's time to take this country back Well I worked ten years down at the factory until they had to close the door I guess I boss outsourced our business to some foreign country shore Let's wake up and pay attention before our nation hits its knees. A working man can't find no work if it's all gone overseas. And it's hard on all us working folks working hard to hold our ground. Seems another factory closes every time you turn around. So we gotta stick together, we gotta put it back on track. Let me tell you all, it's time to take this country back. I got a feeling we're going to be hearing a lot from Brian Lewis. I know we're going to hear some more music for him right here on musicartistforyou.com because he'll be back right after this. Sound Kitchen Studios is the Southeast's most prestigious recording and production facility. 
All of the studios in this 19,000 square foot facility are internationally recognized for their great sound. So it's no surprise that the biggest names in the entertainment industry use the Sound Kitchen. Artists spanning all music genres have recorded at the Sound Kitchen. Elton John, Vince Gill, B.B. Winans, Bruce Springsteen, Safety Suit, Saliva, Alice in Chains, Dolly Parton, Hank Williams Jr., Michael W. Smith, Trace Atkins, Jewel, as well as thousands of indie artists. No matter your location, the Sound Kitchen is the perfect site for song demos, complete album projects, artist showcases, television tapings, and video productions. If you can't travel to the kitchen, ask about our Skype sessions. Work with Nashville's A Session players from the comfort of your home. This amazing studio complex offers an unparalleled VIP setting. And if you want to throw a private or corporate party, the kitchen has you covered with personal chefs and two full-service kitchens, private lounges, and conference areas. Remember, whether you are signed to a label or just beginning your journey as an artist, it's all about your music and your legacy. So get on over to the Sound Kitchen and eat music. Are you a music artist or songwriter that just can't get a break? then musicartistforyou.com is your answer. Musicartistforyou.com is a totally new way to promote you and your band. With our streaming radio stations, online television shows, and major sponsor promotions, musicartistforyou.com is your solution to a successful music career. Anyone can sell their music on iTunes or other music services, but how is anyone going to know you're there? So log on to www.musicartistforyou.com to experience music like you've never experienced it before. She's been keeping grandma's praying. She says, Lord, you see the danger in this troubled world today. Would you please keep your light shining and show my family the way. Living life just my way, but Grandma's praying. She says, Lord, send down an angel. Keep them from those nightlife dangers while they're playing. In those honky-tonks and ballrooms, just another one-night show. All of this temptation is a comfort just to know
Yes, she says, Lord, I know there's nothing you can't do. So I'm begging you to see our family through. Grandma, It's the middle of the night. By the night stand light, Grandma's praying. Brian Lewis, remember that name. We're going to get to know him better in just a little while. As a matter of fact, I can't wait to talk about the bull riding part of his life. But we've got more music coming up from him in just a moment here on musicartistsforyou.com. Event Audio provides you with top-of-the-line audio system rentals, technical expertise, and professional service in Nashville, Tennessee, and the surrounding areas. When you need a complete and professional sound service for any occasion, look no further than Event Audio. They've been in business since 1966, providing the highest quality service and using the best gear and most professional engineers and technicians available. No matter how big or small your event, if there's audio involved, they have you covered. There's no reason to look anywhere else because their name says it all. Event Audio. You can just quit now. Take it off here, please. Enough of that garbage. You do your job, I'll do mine, okay? Joey, how you feeling, bud? I'd like to teach the world to sing the perfect harmony. Occupied about a girl, I guess. Well, I've passed her out a couple times, but so far she ain't got around to saying yes. All of my buddies say I'm crazy, but I think I'll call her up and ask again. Make a will. That don't mean I'm lovesick just because I think about her now and then. I always wear a gray big goofy grin Just because I sit at home and know she calls Instead of going out with my friends That don't mean I'm lovesick Just because I think about her now and then Well I was gassing up my pickup at the filling station Just the other day Come walking by and kind of flipped her hair and smiled and skipped away. Where perfume lingered on the breeze, I'd never smelled nothing so sweet. And I forgot to put the nozzle back and I drove the gas pump halfway down the street. But you know that I love sick just because. Cost 
me $97 cash He says, son, if you keep driving like you were You're gonna wind up in a crash Said you won't tell me just how fast you think he's going as he twisted his mustache. And I said I couldn't see my gauges cause I've got her pictures taped across my dash. Well, you've heard him sing. Now you're going to get to know Brian Lewis. We're going to sit down and talk with him, talk about his bull riding days and his absolute love and devotion to country music. I think you're going to enjoy this. Brian Lewis, coming up next on MusicArtistForYou.com. Custom Drums means working with the customer, giving them the drums they truly desire. Medicine Man Custom Drums is a custom drum manufacturer specializing in the manufacture of custom drums and refinishing existing drums. President and CEO Dana Cheney has been a longtime drummer for many years. Creating drums with specialty finishes and color coordinated hardware is their specialty. Hey music lovers of all ages, are you tired of the same old cookie cutter music that comes out of the same mold where every song sounds the same? Now is your chance to experience great music from established artists and up and coming acts that until now no one was ever going to hear of thanks to MusicArtistForYou.com. MusicArtistForYou.com is a totally new media and a new way to experience music including our very own online radio stations and TV shows with artists and songwriters from all genres of music. So log on to www.musicartistforyou.com to experience music like you've never experienced it before. Great job there from Brian Lewis. And I have the whole band here. Brian's, of course, he's the one in the middle. Don't confuse him with anybody else. <laughs> Introduce your band to us. Well, this here is Mark Ramey on the end. He's the lead guitar player. It's Dave Morrison. He plays a steel guitar. And this is my little brother Tyler, and he plays bass because mom said he had to. <laughs> no, There's only one left that just had four strings. How hard could it be? I'm just, I'm just kidding, he does a great job. And over here on the end, Paul Richards, he plays drums. That reminds me of a story. Waylon Jennings went to work for Buddy Hop, and the only, he wanted to play bass. And he told Buddy, he says, I don't play bass. He said, Well, here, take, take one home, learn how to play bass. And uh, the, 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 it was a realization for Waylon when he found out it was tuned the same way as the top four strings on a guitar. Okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> we never told him that. <laughs> this is a revelation. <laughs> now, how long has this band been together? We've been playing together for about three years now. Oh, you got a great sound. Well, thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. So is it is it a package deal with Brian Lewis? <laughs> I hire him, you hire the band. I won't let these guys out of my sight. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously, I can tell by the way you perform together. You're, you're good friends. And yes, yes, sir. That's the coolest thing. It's just well, when you've got to live on a bus with a bunch of people, you better be friends. <laughs> and you're in a heap of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I was, last night, I was, I was uh, checking you out on, on uh, YouTube, and the first thing I ran across was probably one of the happiest moments of your life, I can tell. You were on stage with the great Charlie Daniels. <laughs> tell me about that. Oh, that was just unbelievable. Uh, Bruce, you were called and said, hey, I'm going to Nashville. He knew ahead of time that I was a, a huge Charlie Daniels fan. Mm -hmm. And I was just 
I'm, I've always been a crazy Charlie Daniels fan. And he said, I'm going to Nashville. Why don't you get down with me? I'll introduce you to Charlie Daniels. And I was just, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, like, right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. He said, so about two days before we went down, he called and said, hey, I need you to come over to the office. Uh, I got to talk about the trip. So right away I'm thinking, uh-oh, you know, and uh, I get to the office and he said, hey, uh, you're not going to down and meet Charlie Daniels. And my heart kind of hit my boots and he said, you're going down to play with Charlie Daniels. Oh my God. <laughs> and, uh, I just couldn't believe we'd been invited for something like that. And I just, you know, I've seen them everywhere. I've, I've seen him in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. and I've seen him around our hometown tons of times. And I was just, I was nervous. It, but everybody treated me so good. The whole, his whole band and his whole organization, we got to go out to his great farm people. and all that. They're just Everyone. super people, all of them. Everybody that works for him is great. And well, if you ever get a so chance nice. to eat some of Miss Hazel's cooking, take her up on it. Well, I sure will. <laughs> well, how did that feel on, on stage? Because uh, I'm watching the YouTube video, and I, it's just like, I, I don't think I've seen a happier person ever. In my life. <laughs> I couldn't get that grin off yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, you were grinning big time. It was, it was surreal. I'm like, you know, I'd like to know how many hours I rode around in my car with his tape playing. <laughs> you know, if you count my whole lifetime and listen to it, and then yeah. I'm on the stage with him. And... It was surreal. I just I couldn't believe it, but at the same time, you can tell by the grin that I could believe it a little bit. You know. <laughs> now the band wasn't around that day. Oh uh, no, they. See guys, yeah. <laughs> it's a big time if it gets a yeah, yard. So my, my phone didn't ring. <laughs> <laughs> my dude. Yeah, that's these. Yeah, these are the only guys I'd rather play with than Charlotte Daniels. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, deep in here. <laughs> what you uh you actually was a. You were a bull rider for a long time. How many years did you uh, do that? About uh, six or seven years. My other brother Trent and I did that, and we just, you know, pretty much rode every rodeo we could get entered in. And, uh, well, how do you wake up one day and just say, I'm going to ride a bull? I mean, how did that come about? <laughs> well, my Trent called me one day and he said, hey, they're having a bull riding uh, clinic up, up the road. I'm going to go ride a bull. And I said, well, hold on, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So we no. went, and the next thing you know, that weekend we were entered in a rodeo, not having any idea what we were doing, but you know, it really did. <laughs> That's never really slowed us down much. What was that first eight seconds like? Ah, uh, it was. It was a real rush. It was a thrill, <laughs> but it didn't come for months after I started. <laughs> there was a lot of two seconds like leading up to that. Two seconds. Here, here, there. Yeah. What, you had a lot of broken bones? Ah, oh, mostly concussions and busted up ribs. I never, I never really uh, broke too many bones. One time I got hung up in the rope and I went down over top of my hand and my knuckles come back and hit my wrist there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how it didn't break, but I couldn't grip anything for weeks. And my dad came in and he said, what are you gonna do when you get hurt bad enough where you can't play that guitar no more? And I couldn't let him know, you know, mm -hmm. it sunk in, you know. But every time I rode after that, you know, I rode for probably another year and a half after that. But it's always there in the back of my mind, you know. He said, just wondering, you know, that this could, if I can't play my guitar no more, mm -hmm. that would be worse than not riding bulls no more. So. I think I'd take a guitar over a bull any day, <laughs> even if I had to put up with these guys. <laughs> Just Sometimes that's worse than a, worse of a beating. Yeah, <laughs> same amount of bull though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the life of a country singer. You sang a song uh, that was so beautiful, "Grandma's Praying." Thank you. It, is that one you wrote? Is that is that a personal experience? That's very very personal experience. Uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, it was around Christmas time, and my grandpa had just had a routine knee operation. You know. But when he was uh, in therapy to get his knee worked back in, all of a sudden he was having numbness in his feet. And they went in and checked on it, and he had a tumor right up against oh. his spine. And the doctor kind of went in with Grandma and Grandpa, and they met with him, and they said, now we're going to go in there and take that tumor off his spine because it's dangerous, but it's right on his spinal cord. And he won't walk again after we take this off. You know, and uh, the whole family... As understandably, it was pretty, pretty shook up, you know, and, and I can't imagine how Grandpa felt, but 
it, Grandma didn't waver. You know, Grandma just prayed like she always does. You know, she's such a faithful lady and a great example. And uh, it wasn't but six or eight months after that, Grandpa was walking. Oh, man. And I'll tell you, that's where that song comes from. I'll tell you, those grandmas get to praying for you. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is great. What a great song. Man. Thank you. I think we can all identify with that to some extent. You had another song, now, Take This Country Back. Well, I'll tell you how that came about. Uh, you know, we're kind of from small towns and rural areas. Where is everybody from? I don't think we got into that. We're all from uh, central Ohio, except for Dave, and he's uh, down on the river. Uh, <laughs> Mark's from Thornville. Uh, Dave's from Wheelersburg. I call it Portsmouth, and he gets worked up. He's really from Wheelersburg. <laughs> well, who wants to be told yeah, that's they're right. from Portsmouth? <laughs> no offense again. <laughs> I'm sure they're nice people. <laughs> Tyler and I was grew up in Wilkins Corner. Uh -huh. And Paul is from everywhere. <laughs> yeah. He's from Granville and then left for a long time. Yeah, I was in New York City for a number of years and played over there. But we won't hold that against you. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm back. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> so, take this country back. Well, uh, you know, like I said, we're all from rural areas out there and it just so much, especially there, is happening this foreclosure on a lot of ground up there and farmers are just losing them left and right, you know, and then they wind up, the farmer loses his ground and it winds up big, you know, companies come in and buy it up and develop it. And there's condos where we used to cut hay, all, you know, all over the place. And, uh, and the industry up there is, you know, everything constantly moving to China and Mexico and we've lost several of the big businesses in the big factories in our hometown. And one day, you know, I was just thinking about all this and I'm thinking, we've got too good of a thing going on here to allow, you know, this to, to go to waste. That's right. And that's kind of the, the feeling of that song is, you know, a little bit indignant. We, we better stop and look around and uh, take this back from, the, from, you know, some of these big shots that are yeah, I, I remember an old timer told me to stand there in his overalls. He said, "Well, I reckon when we can eat money, it'll be okay." <laughs> we can't eat money. Yeah, yeah. we need this farm. We starve. There you yeah. go. That's, that's a good right. point. What do you foresee in your career? Well, I'll tell you. What, I want to do this for the rest of my days. I'm, no more bull riding. No more bull riding. <laughs> uh, and I'll tell you what. Uh, right now we work and play music. So mm -hmm. we're busy all the time. We want to get to where we're just playing music because yeah. we don't think it, that's a lot of work, but we don't see it as work. Still got your work. day jobs. That's mm -hmm. right. And so when we break it just so where we ain't working no more, we're just playing music every day. I've already got this planned out in my head. Yeah, I heard you had a big plan for I when, this, when music goes I forward. bring my hammer every time I come to Nashville and when it makes the break, when it's decisive that we're not going back to work, we're just going picking for good. I'm going to take that hammer and I'm going down there to the Victory Memorial Bridge down there by the Titan Stadium and I'm going to heave that thing right in the river. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Yeah, well, I'm going to invite you. Have a, yeah, we have a hammer throwing party off that bridge. <laughs> First number one record. That, that would be a great place to have a, a number one party. Right that's there right. I don't care if it's January and snowing. We're going down that and bridge. And have the hammer throwing. That's right. I think that's unique. I, I've seen a lot of people do a lot of things, but hammer throwing just doesn't come to mind. <laughs> Is that what you, you all are in construction is? is no, we all do a little bit of Man. everything. Uh, well, I'm what do you do? I am a programmer. I sit at a computer pretty much all the live long day mm -hmm. and type. <laughs> It'd be a little heavy to heave a computer <laughs> over, you know, listen, we'll laptop. Hey, laptop. Yeah. Do it. They're getting smaller all the time. That's right. Well, what do you guys do? I'm an electrician. Uh, I own an auto parts store. Sound of a gun. Watch you guys on stage, you'd never know you did anything but on stage. <laughs> well, we enjoy playing together, you know. We Hopefully the crowd can tell how much we like one another. Well, I can tell it. It's pretty obvious to me. Now, give us your website once again, because I want folks to go see that, uh, that uh, Go to video. brianlewismusic.com. Okay. And you can check out all our stuff there. And you see the video with him and Charlie Daniels because that's never coming off the website. Right? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's on YouTube. I got it painted on the side of my house. So. <laughs> it's there. 
get a hit record, you're going to put it on uh, <laughs> up in Times Square. <laughs> Jumbo Trial. Yeah, I had, I'll, I'll go to Charlie Daniels' house and just hang out with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I enjoyed sitting around talking with you folks. Yeah, same well, here. It's very nice to talk to you. Big thanks to Brian Lewis. You're awesome. Thank you, sir. And you got a pretty decent band, too. Yeah, I'll keep them. Wait till you see the guys I'm going to get. When get <laughs> <laughs> They're big time. <laughs> After I do that hammer throw, maybe. I hate to see, I hope if he gets another bass player, he'll heave me off the bass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need him. Yeah. <laughs> Visiting with Brian Lewis. Remember that name. He's going places. Thank you, Brian. As a musician, you understand that your gear needs the very best protection available. You depend on that gear to be in top working condition when you perform. So why not protect it with the very best custom road cases available? Road Hulk cases are made from the best ABS laminate, casters, and hardware on the market. They custom build each case to your specs for a perfect fit. Don't trust some assembly line case to protect your gear. If you want to know your gear is safe, there's only one answer. Road Hog Cases. Built by musicians for musicians. You just quit now. Take it off here, please. Don't say enough of that garbage. You do your job, I'll do mine, okay? Joey, how you feeling, bud? I'd like to teach the world to sing the perfect harmony. I'd like to buy the world a Coke.